Hello, I'm Sean Jones. Welcome to your Week in Tech. This week saw Wahanda, the hair and beauty booking site, secure a further $46 million in funding from Japan's Recruit Holdings. Recruit now becomes the majority stakeholder in Wahanda, which currently reaches 12,000 salons and spas in five countries. It is hoping to expand to a further three countries by the end of June. We also saw kids' computer company Cano closing a $15 million Series A funding round. Led by Brea Capital, the extra cash will allow Cano to grow its products and expand across other markets outside of the UK and US. DuPay raised $2 million to launch a cloud payroll service for the unbanked. Now, the startup went through the Barclays Techstars Accelerator last year, and Techstars Ventures is also investing. The European Commission revealed plans for a digital single market, aiming to be the online equivalent of the existing EU single market. So it could mean that on-demand TV services like Netflix, BBC iPlayer and Sky Go are available to everyone, regardless of which EU country they're in. And it also aims to boost Europe's homegrown technology businesses to compete better against the giant US internet firms like Facebook and Google. Now, just a quick reminder, it is your last chance to apply for our Elevator Pitch competition. Applications close at midnight, so do enter now for a chance to be featured on Tech City News and join the likes of Yplan, Hassel and Import.io. Everyone's favourite tech entrepreneur Elon Musk received a lot of attention this week for the launch of the Tesla Powerwall, an affordable battery for homes. The Powerwall is a wall-mounted energy storage unit that's solar-powered and can hold 10 kilowatt hours of electric energy. Tesla already have 38,000 orders from around the world and the battery marks a bold move towards an alternative energy supply to fossil fuels. Our download of the week is Great Little Place. It's a travel app that's written and curated by local people and they have launched in 40 cities worldwide. The app is for those of you looking to head off the main tourist trail and to find personal recommendations. So if you're ready to do away with dusty old guidebooks and take the digital plunge into a new traveling experience, download Great Little Place. And finally, Facebook managed to upset the entire 50,000 population of a Swedish island this week by placing them in Norway. Residents of Gotland Island noticed that Facebook placed them north of Oslo, causing chaos for tourism and posting irrelevant Norwegian ads to the Swedes. This has been your Week in Tech. Thank you for watching. And for more, check out Tech City News and do follow us on Twitter.